Now, you're best known for your paintings and, and your sculpture. At what point in your, in your life did, did you become really passionate about these two forms of expression? Well, I grew up with sculpture because my father is a sculptor. And uh, that's something I've been surrounded with since I grew up, you know, so um, since I was small. And uh, basically, it's something that just evolved, you know. I kind of like just rubbed off on me and I kind of like started doing it, as, uh, particularly sculpture. And then later on, I did painting and then that became something that I was really, really interested in because it wasn't something that I was confronted with every day. It was kind of like a new discovery for me to do painting, you know. And then, yeah, it just kind of like happened. I didn't really decide mm. to do it so <laughs> you said you grew up around sculpture do you remember the first sculpture you ever made uh probably you know one of the first ones i remember definitely what yes. was it it was uh, it was kind of like a small little face that i hollowed out and i hung it on the wall so for some reason i always wanted to hang things on the wall like painting so mm. i actually made a sculpture that you could hang on the wall so it was something that's always kind of like been around and then Later on, funny enough, I made variations of that first piece I made, but just in larger form and bronzes and so on. Do you still have it? Actually, my cousin has it. Really? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Is it hanging on your cousin's wall? Yeah. Okay, that's I see great. it when I go there. I was like, one day I want that back. <laughs> <laughs> one day you're just going to go in and take it off yeah, the wall. Exactly. This is mine. <laughs> Now, like I said in my intro, you've become really known for, for depicting women in your art, especially yeah. like Cape Malay women. Yeah. Why did you decide to, to look at the woman and, and explore um, women through art? Well, basically, um, I moved down from Pretoria to Cape Town about you know, eight years ago, and I used to kind of like basically paint people from my environment. And when I moved down here, I kind of inherently just started painting people that were in my surroundings. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously that ended up being Cape Malay women. And just because they had this kind of like universal idea about them, they're not really black, they're not white. They're like the kind of like this new person that was, you know, mm -hmm. through genetics created. And I think that was something really interesting. And from there, just plainly painting people that was in my surroundings, I took that idea and it kind of like started, uh, you know, became a, a bigger, broader idea of, you know, who are we and where do we come from genetically and, you know, race-wise. It was something that intrigued me, the whole idea of someone being, you know, African, European and Malaysian in one. It just gave this nice universal idea about that. And then the concept started evolving into different things, and that's basically how the whole Cape Malay thing started. What did you learn about these women while, while you were depicting them through art? I think the interesting thing about these women, uh, and the, the main idea about the women is, it's a little bit mysterious why I only mostly do paint women, mm. is because um, I think that my technique lends itself to having this kind of like very fragile idea of female um, combined with this very kind of like abstract kind of like strong masculine um, painterly effect mm. it just really works well together and it's kind of like something that I you know want to communicate is that whole idea of two pools almost kind of like always interacting with each other you know in in, in the paintings and then Similar with the sculptures, there's always this communication between the two, you know, the, the idea of the sculpture being, you know, like paint drips pouring down and on the sculptures as well in the bronze, and then that also kind of like mimics in the painting, so mm. that idea kind of like flows together.